I wanted to go ahead and run a brief overview of iPeng for the iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch. Works for pretty much all the new Apple devices. And this app is made by a buddy of mine named George. And I wanted to go ahead and show you guys first, number one, how to get it and download it. Go to the App Store on your iPad, iPhone, iPod, doesn't matter. And type in iPeng. And you've got iPeng for iPad, and the one down here is for the iPhone or iPod Touch. It works on both. I've already got the one for the iPad installed here, so we're going to go ahead and switch over to that. Okay, now this is what iPeng looks like, and it's very, very easy to use, really user friendly. It's right now the iPad and the transporter are synced to an Acer server that we have set up in the corner of the room that basically nobody ever touches or looks at. It just sits there and stores all the information. Um, iPeng is basically a real fancy remote control for all the slim, de slim devices, Logitech, squeeze boxes, transporters. Um, and it's it makes going through your catalog of music extremely nice and convenient. The remote control for the iPad or for the uh, transporter or squeeze box is a little clumsy and it takes forever fumbling through the menus. This just makes it very nice, just like you're thumbing through iTunes. Um, what I want to do is show you how <coughs> we can fumble through our music and get different inf information off the server. You've got your artist views, albums, genres, so and so. Folder view, which is real nice. If you know a particular artist you want to go to and you want to listen to all their music, you can just go through to the artist and pretty much scroll down or you can click over here on the right hand side and hit the P. We're going to go to say Phil Collins this time and it's got his whole discography. All the different albums are available right there. You can click on any particular album or you can play everything here. Um, pick on one, one album, take you in and it'll show you the songs that are on that album. You can back out again, back out again, and you're back to your full artist list, or folder list, I'm sorry. Artist is the same thing. You come over here and you can scroll down by artist. Uh, basically the same thing, but this will show everything whether they're categorized in folders on your server correctly or not, it'll show all the artists. So if you've got one song by an artist, it makes a separate line for that artist. Um, the folder view is a little bit more convenient sometimes because I try to keep all my files organized really well on the server. So I know if I go to Moby, every Moby song is in that folder. But if you go to artist, anything that might have Moby's name in it would wind up in the list and you can have multiple copies in the list scroll down far enough, you can see how many more artists you have than folders. It's like an endless list basically. So, alright, <clears throat> I guess we'll play something and show you how easy it is to f go back and forth through the, uh, the different folders and stuff. Now I've got over here quite a few songs saved into my favorites list and these are songs I listen to all the time and what I'll do is I'll show you how to scroll through the server and find the song that I'm looking for that way and then we'll jump back to the favorites because it's way easier to find the songs over here that I'm looking for. So we'll go to uh, music folder. Uh, I've got a folder down here that I saved for a buddy of mine's music that we put on here. Go to various artists and you click the button and it's playing. There's nothing to it. it takes a second for this track to load and now it's playing. You can see up here Turn the volume up a little bit. There is a rose in Spanish And you can see that we have a second iPad set up up there, which is basically in a slave mode, and it's basically repeating what this and or the transporter are doing. So as we change songs here, you'll see the artist album work change up there. And that's just for show, basically. <clears throat> okay, so now we'll go back to another artist. We'll go down here to favorites, because like I said, they're all saved in there. It's way easier. And we'll click on another one. We'll turn the volume up a little bit. And just hit play. 
and it automatically jumps to that one and you can see both are updated. Now most of the time I like keeping my iPad in this mode so that I can see all the other songs that I might want to listen to but a lot of people just want to, you know, they're into the album cover artwork so you can just leave it in that mode and that's all you're going to look at is the cover, work, the cover page. Um, but I like leaving it in this mode most of the time. So, um, let's hit pause. Now with iPing, it's really cool. I mean, you've got your, your volume slider obviously up here so you can control your volume. You've got a little tiny, this one's kind of hard to get your finger on half the time, but it's a little tiny slider right here for scrolling through the song. So if you want to scroll forward, just put your finger on it, grab it, and you can see the time changes so you can scroll anywhere through the song you want and drop it, and that's where it goes. Um, <clears throat> over here you've got different types of repeats. You've got a random. If you turn that on, it turns blue. Now you're in a random mode, so it will play all your songs in random order. And you've got over here a loop, so if you go through all your songs, it'll it'll loop back to the beginning and play, you know, the other ones again. You can create playlists in here. Right now, I don't really have any set up because I just save it all to my favorites and play it from there. But um, you can create playlists, and you can see that here's where the playlist will drop down. And uh, here, I'll just add some more songs to it real quick. Just hold your butt, hold your finger on one of the songs, hit uh, play next, add another one, play next add to end. So that one, Sweet About Me, should be at the very end. Now we come back up here to the playlist and you'll see all the songs we just added and Sweet About Me is at the end because that's where we told it to go. And once you've got your playlist, you can save playlists, you can do whatever you want. So there's lots and lots of ways of going through and saving all the songs you really want to listen to often. Um, <coughs> so for right now, <coughs> we'll go back over to um, the favorites, which I'm still in here. And um, <clears throat> it's real easy to click on any um, any song and play it instantly once it's saved to your favorites. <clears throat> and you can see up there on this particular album, I don't have any artwork, so it's repeating no artwork at all up there. When you switch back to one that does have artwork, it updates through the whole system and you've got it on both, okay? So, let's see. You got random mixes, uh, radio, which is really fun. There's lots of radio stations you can play. Um, pretty cool, you can go to local radio stations and this is all through the server. So, I mean, you've got, obviously I have to have a pretty good internet connection to do this, but you can scroll through and play anything from your local radio stations or if you've got um, you know, you can you can sort through somewhere on here. You can do it uh, via zip code. You type in a zip code if you want to listen to a radio station in someone else's town. You can do that with no problem. So go back to radio stations, and we'll just pick anything to play. <coughs> there you go. Now you listen to FM radio on here. <coughs> so quick and easy, and I mean you're 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 music is like unlimited once you get one of these things because number one the radio stations and number two is in a second here we're going to switch over to Pandora which is all internet radio stations and that is even cooler than the stuff you've got on your own server okay now we're going to switch over to MySqueezeBox.com, which you have to go on to uh, Logitech's website, register a user account on there, and all they really require is your email address and a password. Um, and what that does, it allows you to use all the internet radio stations that are available through uh, Pandora and some of the other uh, programs. Let's see, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to MySqueezeBox.com. You come up here, switch over to it. Tell it, okay, we want the transporter to switch over. Tell it done. Give it a second. There you go. Now it's switched over to MySqueezeBox.com instead of using your home server. Now, over here in your apps, you can go to the App Gallery. 
These are all the different uh, radio network broadcasting programs you can install. Some of them you have to pay for, some of them are free. You'll have to do some research on those and see what you want to use. But um, I've installed Pandora, and it has got more music than I could ever really want to listen to. Um, Pandora, when you click on it after you install it, you've got options to create re-own your own radio stations or go through genres. Um, the easiest thing to do is just type in an artist you like. I'm going to type in Enigma and then hit send and what it does it automatically creates an Enigma radio station and starts playing. See? Automatically pulled it up showed up on the iPad up there and it's playing on the transporter over there. Go back to Pandora, you can click on your radio stations Here's a list of stations that I've got right now. I've got about 70 or so installed already. And the cool thing about Pandora that I found is if you play any particular artist, like right now it's running on an Enigma track, okay, what'll happen is Pandora throws in a whole bunch of other artists that either are in the same genre, same years, you know, same type music. And what I've found is a lot of times you'll be listening to artists you've never heard before, songs you've never heard before that are very similar to stuff that you already like. Um, there's quite a few of these artists that are in here now that I had never heard of before I installed Pandora. Um, and you'll, you'll find out real quickly that there's a lot of stuff out there that you've never heard of that is music you definitely will like. See here, for instance, right now, and it, what it does is Pandora for free with your Squeezebox device lets you listen to unlimited music. If you use Pandora on your computer, it limits you to about 40 hours a week or 40 hours a month, something like that. And then you have to pay like a dollar for the rest of the month, I think. Um, but if you buy a Squeezebox device, you can use Pandora Unlimited through that device. What I and it's really cool. The limitations that they give you are every so often they play us you know some kind of stupid radio commercial and or you can only skip through any particular artist six times so right now we're playing uh, an enigma song on the enigma artist or station or whatever you want to call it. it's right here now what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and skip a couple times and show you that you'll run out of chances up there on the transport. I don't know if you can re read it or not, but as you chit, as you skip, the artist will come up, and after we skip six times, it'll pop up an error saying that you've exceeded your skip limit. Watch, we'll go one. Okay, that's the second song you can see up there. It's what we're listening to, and like I said, it'll throw up different artists and I've never heard of this name either but it's probably something I would like to listen to so a lot of times I'll just sit down and listen to the weird artists I've never heard of um, so that's one two three that's an Enya I actually have her in there somewhere already four there's one of the commercials and you can't skip through the commercial so I'll have to sit here and wait 12 seconds and listen to the commercial so they throw that in there every 10th or 12th song just to annoy you um, sliver that's actually enigma I've got that somewhere um, I think that's five and six that should be the last time I, I'm allowed to skip on this particular artist. So now if we hit it again, see, up on the transporter it says hourly skip limit exceeded. So you're either stuck listening to these songs for the next hour, and then you can start skipping again, or you just find another artist that you like that's very similar and play that artist instead. And now you've got another six times you can skip through songs which is what I've wound up doing. I've got so many different artists, as soon as I run out of tracks that I like or I can't skip anymore, I'll jump down to another one that's in a similar genre and you wind up getting a lot of the same music anyway. <clears throat> so that's really, Pandora makes the squeeze boxes well, well worth their money. 
if, even if you don't have any music of your own on your own hard drive, or you don't feel like burning copies of all your discs and everything, this is amazing. The audio quality is not the best in the world. You know, it's not flak files. They're not they're not uh, lossless files or anything like that. But for a decent background music all day long, you you can you'll never run out of music because they'll just they go through thousands and thousands of songs on each one of these artists. So it's more music than you'll really ever need to listen to. All right, now we're going to show you something pretty cool that they came out with for the for an, an add-on for iPeng, costing an extra five dollars on top of the ten dollars for the original iPeng program. But this app is really cool. If you want to take your iPad or iPhone or iPod Touch with you anywhere in the house and listen to the music on your server, you can do that. Like I said, you have to pay an additional five dollars for this add-on, but it's pretty well worth it. All right, we're going to switch back over to the server. <clears throat> Once we're back on the server, you can see that my iPad shows up as an output device along with the transporter. So right now, you can see over here as the icon tells you which one that you're currently on. So if we switch over to the transporter, it's controlling the transporter. If you switch back over to the iPad, all your audio is going to come through the iPad. So we'll leave it on there. Okay, now we can go down to favorites and do the exact same thing we did before, but instead of the audio being transferred over to the transporter, it's going to play everything right here on the iPad itself. So let's pick, uh, pick this one, hit play. Now all the audio is going right from the server through the Wi Fi to the iPad itself. So if you're going to be walking around with headphones and an iPod Touch or your phone, this is great. You can do the same thing, go back into the menu while you're listening to one song. You can control your volume on the iPad. You go back over to your, uh, oops. Go back to favorites, scroll down, find something else you want to listen to. Hit play. Now, here's a cool little trick that I don't know if anybody's even mentioned or knows about. iTunes and your iPod and your iPhone and iPad will not play FLAC files. Okay, there's no way to play a FLAC lossless file through an iPod or an iPhone. But, here's a little trick a little way around it. This album on the server is all in FLAC. The software in the server will translate it and send it through the Wi-Fi so that the iPad or iPod or iPhone can play the FLAC files. Um, we were playing around with it one day and I was kind of curious to see what would happen with the FLAC files on the server and I didn't know if it would play them or not through the iPod and it does. Another one that I've got on here, uh, I know there's some stuff that's in FLAC and a lot of it's not, but if we scroll back down through, uh, you can see here, th these are FLAC files, this one's FLAC, uh, let's see what else we got, uh, some of the Prodigy's EAC, that's the one, that's the album we were just listening to right there, Asteroids Galaxy Tour. That one's all flack and it actually is playing through the iPod or the uh, iPad. So if we go back to this one, which is also flack files. We should be able to uh, play all these as well with no problem. It's a little bit slower as far as it having to decompress everything and send it over, but it does work and it works extremely well. Okay. So now we can pause this and say we want to listen to it on the stereo now. We just go back to the transporter. Okay, 
you can see up here the icon has changed. Actually, I just hit it and turned it off by accident. Touching the, it turns it on and off over there. So you go back over here, play the same file. Now it's playing on the stereo. Okay. And you can sync them too, I think, if I'm not mistaken. You can sync both of them so that they'll play. If you tell one unit to play what the other one's playing, both units will play the same music at the same time. So, but that's pretty cool. This is a nice little feature if you're going to do stuff around the house and want to be able to carry something with you and play your music all the time. If you're cleaning the house, outside, close enough to your Wi-Fi, you can have your iPod in your pocket with headphones and be listening to all your own music instead of, you know, all kinds of other stuff. Um, so... That's about it. That covers the majority of all the topics and everything that I can think of that are really worth, you know, standout things in this program. It's it's really awesome what it can do. And like I said, once you've once you've gone into the the uh, mysqueezebox.com and you register and you get into all the uh, all the online music, it's just endless. The uh, the different stations you can create and. I mean, it just goes on forever. Any artist you can think of, it creates an, an, a whole radio station for that artist and throws in other stuff that pertains to that same person. So, all right, enjoy. Download it, buy it. It's more than worth the $15 for the apps, and it, the iPad itself makes all the squeeze box devices fun to play with, not only, you know, convenient, but it really becomes a lot of fun because you wind up hearing so much music that you've never heard before. Um, I can't stress enough how well worth the money it is. I mean, iPad you can buy online anywhere between three and five hundred bucks. The squeeze box you can get for two fifty, three hundred bucks. Transporters are a little more expensive, but you know you're not. Uh, you don't have to buy a transporter. You can have any squeeze box device they've got out there, and all this works identically. So. Go out, spend a bunch of money, have some fun.